Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at BookBolt, be doing a review and a little mini tutorial talking about how you can use it inside your low content publishing business. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn how to do more to market your message in less time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right. Remember, it's not about faster. It's about focus. And today's focus is on BookBolt and how we're going to use it to create and publish our low content books faster and easier. So let's go ahead and just jump right into BookBolt. So once you get your three day free trial to BookBolt, you'll be able to jump right in here to the interface once you log in. And right here on the first screen, you'll be able to search for products. And in this search, what you're going to do is you're going to be looking for keywords. So since uh, I'm filming this, it's, it's October 2019. We'll go ahead and we'll type in Halloween. We'll pick the category of notebooks. And as you can see right here, the results data has res uh, come back, showed us really important data like uh, the number of results, but the lowest price and the highest price, average price, and then the average BSR, which is the bookseller rank and a category inside of notebooks. And then, of course, it's going to give you a keyword count with some uh, awesome keywords here that you can use on the back end when you add your keywords inside of Amazon, which stay tuned to this video. And I'll show you inside that as well and how BookBolt can help you even further when you're actually setting up your book and you're adding your descriptions and of course your keywords then of course here in products you're going to see all this great information that this interface has given you title author publisher a uh, number of reviews uh, again the price and the bsr estimated monthly sales and then of course if you click on this it'll take you right over to amazon so you can look at it right inside the amazon interface but this is going to give you a great idea for that keyword what's selling what's popular what's doing really well and also give you some great ideas not to copy but to give you inspiration all right so that's just the first thing inside of search products we'll go ahead and I'll show you the next thing that I wanted to show you which is the keywords tool here again we're staying with Halloween keyword and then here you're gonna have your keywords with your search volume your CPC your competition then you're gonna have some uh, most frequent keywords that are used to rank for that keyword. So you're going to see things here that you might not have thought of. Of course, Halloween is going to pop up. Book kids, coloring, activity, obviously. But then there's things like down here, Halloweeny, witch, puzzles, jack, mysteries. Okay, so this is giving you some great ideas inside the most frequent keywords. When people search for Halloween, these are the most frequent keywords that are taking people to the results that they're clicking on that they want to see. And of course, you have more relevant products down here. Here you got some comic books, uh, some some other activity books and things here that you can click on. Of course, if you click on those, you'll see that that takes you right to the book inside of Amazon so you can further your research. So that's just another phase right here. So that's just two quick ways to do more research inside of BookBolt. And of course, that's the key here is making it faster, making it easier for you is, is this keyword research and these keyword tools. The next thing I want to show you is over here when you're going to you're going to have a KDP spy, a KD, a book bolt lister designer and the book bolt mass cover converter. Now, Katie, Katie spy and book bolt list lister are going to be Chrome extensions. So you're going to need to use these with Chrome. So if you click on each one of those, as you'll see KDP spy right here, it's going to be a Chrome extension that you just download and install into Chrome and you can see what it does there. But I'll go ahead and show you when you go over to Amazon and we'll stay on Halloween where I did a search here inside of books. And then as you can see here, I filtered this down to paperback Halloween books. And as you can see up here is you actually that may be off the screen, but right there, KDP spy has access to the site. So you click on KDP spy. It's that Chrome extension that we just installed earlier. It pops up and right here, you're going to be able to run a search. So instead of manually scrolling through this page, you just hit start. Now what this is going to do, this Chrome extension is going to reach back on this page and it's going to pull the results 
from Amazon. We're going to stop that right quick. So it's going to pull those from Amazon. So you have to be patient with it. Let it run. It's also why I stopped it just so you could see an example right here. But then you have this great information right here from inside Amazon on the page. So even if you don't want to open up the BookBolt interface, what you can do right here, once you install the Chrome extension is you have access to if you're doing research inside of Amazon, you can just go ahead and you'll have the price, the BSR, the rate, estimated sales estimated revenue all right here and of course if you click on this right here you can see that these are organized by lowest to highest highest to lowest and it works on every field here so it's all sortable for you and you have information right here and you can look at each one of them again for inspiration not to copy but like I said to get ideas generate ideas based upon price uh, estimated sales estimated revenue and that's KD, KDP spy the other one, the other Chrome extension, real quick, we'll go back to the book bolt, was the book bolt lister. So once you get the book bolt lister installed, what you'll have here is you'll create a profile. And you can see right here, you go ahead and you set up your profile. If you were to click, you can see a profile here I set up as an example. Title is Sudoku, Volume 1, First Name Test. Of course, if you click this Add button right here, you'll be able to see right there that you can enter that information inside the profile. But I've already set it up. Of course, you just walk through that. For example, the hotkey, if you hit the space bar, it'll be space, and then you just put your information in here, your description, your keywords, as you can see that I filled out right here in my profile. So let me show you real quick. If we were go, once you have this Chrome extension installed again, you go right there, you go back into KDP, and let's say you're creating your paperback, and then you want to fill all these details in. Typically, you would have to type all this information in one, one thing at a time. As you can see, it's blank. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my space bar, which you can't see, but you'll see what happens. As soon as I hit my space bar, the Chrome extension, the KDP book lister from BookBolt has filled in those all the information that I populated inside that profile. As you can see right there, we'll hop back. You can see title, subtitle, first name, description, keyword, where I put key one, key two. I pick some categories. I selected the cover finish and the trim size. And you can see right there that it has filled all that in right here. Test account. This is the description right here. Key one, key two. See right here, it picked my categories. And then it's ready to move on to the next phase. Again, this is how BookBolt is saving you time and getting you published faster than you could normally by filling in the details, of course, for books that you're repeating. So, for example, in this case, if you want to do volume two, you would just do volume two. You would change a little your title. But your description and your keywords, which are the hardest thing, the thing that takes the most time, the most time consuming of everything that you do when you're filling these in, the the repetitive tasks are all taken care of by that Chrome extension. Okay, now the next thing, uh, this is the bolt mass cover converter. Now let me show you what this does. As you can see right here, I have three PNG files and I've selected the cover size 8.5 by 11. The page count is 100. I've selected a black background. Let me show you what this is. So inside of Canva, which I've actually done a video here on the channel about how to do 8.5 by 11 KDP covers as well as 6 by 9 I believe and I'll go ahead and I'll leave a card right above here above me in this video so you can check that video out but as you can see I've just created three simple covers here book one book two and book three here in Canva and of course I downloaded those and then I uploaded those images into the book bolt bolt mass cover converter because these are going to be very simple covers with just that one word or that one phrase and they're all going to be black so as you can see right there if you're to click on the status here pdf what that'll do is that's going to open up a print ready pdf that is ready to be uploaded to your book inside of kdp so no fuss no muss it's all set the page count so the spine the cover size everything inside that pdf is all ready of course if you were to select download all you'll see a zip file right there with all three covers ready for you to go again making this whole process seamless and as fast as possible okay so that moving on the as far as the designer when you're inside of book bolt we'll jump back right quick and you can see right here the book bolt designer because we've covered all the other uh 
uh, options here are the other tools inside of BookBolt, but the BookBolt designer is actually you can uh, do interiors or covers. Of course, if you do covers, you have your trim size right here. Again, we'll go with 8.5 by 11. It's my favorite. And you go ahead and hit 100 right there. And what that'll do is that'll take uh it says take it'll it'll take a couple minutes and that will load up the cover with the spine all ready for you. And there it is, fully loaded. As you can see, it has the cover right here. It has the spine, so you can see where you need to stay, the areas you need to stay out of. And, of course, you have all the different colors here. You have templates. You have clip art inside these categories. Of course, you want to go ahead and hit the text. For example, one of the great things here is it has the curved text option. And inside the curved text, you just drag this around and you move that where you want to. Of course, you can see right there where you need to stay in the uh, in the areas inside the box there and then of course if you want to change the text effect you just flick, click on that and then you would say uh, new book and you can see the text changing right there and of course you can click on that and then you have other options where you can change uppercase lowercase you can bold italicize click here you can change the color say we want a nice purple and then you, again, you can move that around and it gives you those options that you can play around with. Uh, of course, you can upload your own images. As you can see here, I've actually been playing with this and using it for some of my Sudoku puzzles. And you can see right there that you can change those. So if this was a Sudoku puzzle right there, I could just drop this in there inside the curve and center it. And then now I got a nice little Sudoku puzzle cover book or a cover for a Sudoku book. And you can see right there that that's completely ready to download. Right there, you would go ahead, click download. It, it, would, it will prepare that, and then it'll be ready to download once it prepares. Of course, that takes just a few seconds. And then you just click download, and you'll download it, and you'll be good to go. Of course, this is fully editable with all the other things here. You have shapes and drawings. And then you can play with layers and the effects. So you can do lots of things inside the cover. And of course, this is a hang up for quite a few folks is getting this correct, getting the front cover and the back cover, and then making sure that the spine is correct and making sure that you don't have options for when you submit your book. A lot of times you'll have these things overlapping or out of the, you know, into the bleed here, into the edges where it gets chopped off and then your cover gets kicked back lots of time. And that's what Book Bolt is going to save you tons and tons of time. Of course, as you can see right there, there's a way right there to do interiors. So if you click on interior, this is going to give you the option to do interiors. Of course, if you want to say you just want to do one page right there, you go ahead and you can see the interiors that it has. Music sheets, recipe books, wide rules, hexagon, fishing logs. Here's a coloring book, graph paper, polar coordinated paper. As you can see, there's tons and tons of options here. Half by half, storyboards. Here's here's a, a notes page, guest list planner, dream journal. Okay, so you just select these you want, like this running log journal. Go ahead and click download. Please wait while that's thinking and building that. And you can see right there, you automatically have downloaded your five by eight. In this case, no bleed PDF. It's ready to be in, it's ready to be uploaded, or you could take it and you could add that into. Uh, PowerPoint or Word or Canva or tons of options to utilize this this these interiors that you can use right here inside of BookBolt. As you can see, you can generate as many pages as you want, many different covers you want. And then of course you saw the pricing real quick. Uh, go ahead. The pricing is monthly or yearly. But you can go ahead, as I was saying, and get a free three-day trial. The link will be in the description to go ahead and start that three free-day trial. It'll also be in the first pinned comment. Of course, go ahead if you have any more questions or if it's something I didn't show you or something you want to hear more about or ask me a question about, please feel free in the comments. But that is everything that I wanted to show you. I know I was talking fast and going through it fast, but I wanted to make sure that you got to see everything inside of BookBolt before you went ahead and made your purchase or got your three-day free trial. All right. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead. 
Like I said, leave a comment if you have any questions about BookBolt. Of course, subscribe to the channel. There'll be the 30-minute timer. And, of course, there'll be a relevant video here to the side of me. Well, sorry, not to the side of me because I'm actually not on camera today as I normally am. But that's it. That's BookBolt. That's my review. I hope it was helpful. And that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.